everyone, Joshua Hinlin here, and today I'm at the Bricks and Minifig store in South Jordan, Utah, and I'm joined by the owner of the store. We're gonna be getting a whole tour of this amazing Lego store, so if you want to introduce yourself, and then we'll take a look around. Absolutely, I'm Corey Anderson. My wife Danielle and I own this location and Salt Lake location, and we just have so much fun with Lego. <laughs> awesome, and just for anyone who hasn't seen a Bricks and Minifig store before, what's the like 30 second overview of what you do here before we dive into the whole thing? For sure, Bricks and Minifigs is the place where you can go to buy and sell any Lego. So anything that you have that you're done with, bring it in, we'll buy it from you, give you in-store credit or cash. Um, and we specialize in loose minifigures, built sets, loose bulk pieces, birthday parties, custom sets, and I could go on beyond 30 seconds. <laughs> no, that's fantastic. We'll take a look at some examples of all of that different stuff throughout the tour here. But if we just want to start with kind of this wall over sure, here and then yeah. we'll make our way around, what, what do we have in the display cases here? Yeah. This is, we, we love to do um, price point, birthday items, and uh, like kids allowance um, spending. So we've got five, 10, $15 shelves here with just tons of cool um, used sets, parts of used sets, vehicles. Um, you know, we get a lot of people that will buy sets, um, build them, lose the minifigures, or the minifigures get incorporated with their mock or their display, and then the vehicles are extra. They don't have space or don't want them. So they make really good five, 10, $15, you know, allowance money yeah. spends, you know. No UCS Millennium Falcon in this case. No, 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 <laughs> no, we'll get to that a little later. Okay, but, there we go. <laughs> but yes, yeah. That's great to keep that, that lower price point in mind. I'm sure you have a lot of kids coming in here. Tons, That's, it's so much It's so much joy to see a kid come in with a plastic baggie full of coins <laughs> that they've got by pulling dandelions or washing the toilet or whatever they do for their chores. Um, and then they, they pick something that they love and it's like, I can't tell you how often, they'll be like, I want that and we'll pull it out and they'll be like, wait, 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 put this back, I want that. Wait, 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 put this back, I want that. And they'll just, it's just, you know, it's such a fun, uh, fun environment and oh, you couldn't have a better product. Yeah, so more examples of that than in this case over yep. here. Yep, tons of five, you know, five, 10, 15s. Um, uh, yeah, some of it can come with, comes with a minifigure. Um, my personal favorite that was a recent release um, this past year is the, the buggy with steerable wheels, the purple, um, purple dune buggy, because when you tilt it, it steers. It'll turn, anyway. Nice, so some like good playability there. Play, very, yeah, very playable. And then above that, against the wall, we've got tons of kits as well. Yes, this is, this is where um, a lot of the complete or nearly complete pre-owned sets end up. Um, we'll price them according to how complete they are. If they're missing figures or they're missing part of the set, obviously we price them down. Um, but a lot of the, the retired stuff that you can't get new in box anywhere anymore. Um, or if you do, it's an astronomical price on <laughs> eBay or something. Um, but it's a good middle ground for those that want the set they missed out on um, and don't mind that it's been built. They can always take it apart. Lego's got all the instructions. A lot of these come with their instructions. Um, and then some of these that are in the box that you see are actually certified. So they're pre-owned um, and when we get them in, uh, if it's a desirable set like this, we'll piece count every single piece, bag it up, and then make sure it has the instructions, any minifigures that it would come with. And then if it has the original box, obviously that makes a great addition as well. Yeah, some so. classic Star Wars sets there. That's awesome. So you can come in and pick up, you know, some of that older stuff that maybe you were a kid when it first came out, you didn't have the money then, now's your yeah, opportunity. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's great, well you can keep checking out some more down here. You've even got some like wearables, you got backpacks, some yes. other kind of not, not just the bricks themselves. Yep, we love, the, we love the anything that goes along with Lego. Um, my daughter's been begging me for a backpack, so maybe I'll sport <laughs> this and take go. it home with me. <laughs> Purple is a good color. School just started, yeah, does it match my eyes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we love, um, you know, and anything that goes along with Lego, the books, the, um, uh, we even do face masks. Okay. Uh, we do like, we've done like some custom printed or custom made face masks. Uh, this is my classic space variation. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All the space fans out there. Yes, that's right. Space, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, I mean, we get a lot of, uh, Star Wars is probably one of the most popular themes. Uh, we get a lot of folks who, um, 
build up their Star Wars collection, and then something even cooler comes out, and they're like, ah, I don't have space, and their, you know, their significant other says, you, you can't buy that until you get rid of something else. Make room for it. So we provide that, uh, kind of that second life to Lego. Right. When you are able to bring it in, sell it, get some money toward the thing you want, and then it makes it available for someone else to get it if they missed it. They can cycle yeah. through, you know, every new X-Wing that comes out, trade in the old one. Yes. And just, <laughs> yes. <laughs> there <right>? you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's fun. So X-Wings are fun. They're one of my favorite. Um, I'm, I like the black and orange one. Um, and then uh, for the Millennium Falcon, my personal favorite is the blue, the blue and white one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you like the different colors, you know, yeah. the unique ones. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I like the colors. Um, one of our guys here, Adam, <laughs> speaking of colorful Star Wars stuff, one year for May the 4th, he built um, AT-STs, the miniature ones, in all different colors. He collected parts for like six months. And so he had purple, blue, yellow, all these variations, and it was such a cool display to see all colors of the AT-ST, the little miniature ones. <laughs> so cool. You gotta do something besides gray with Star Wars sometimes. I know, you do. <laughs> you know, some of my favorite stuff is the customs that I see people um, just build out of random parts, like the R2-D2, the UCS R2-D2, but out of multicolor. Right, yeah, it's like, very rainbow. Yeah, adds another, another dimension of life to it. Mm -hmm. you know? So what do we have in this, in this case out front then? Okay, so over here we've got, move some of this stuff out of the way, some of our customs that Adam's gonna show you. Um, we do custom printing. Uh, so above the animals here, you'll see some of these figures, um, they're custom printed. Uh, the, there's a, a large population in our area that um, does missions, and so like uh, it's a it's a kind of a church service type of thing. And the the I, I guess the uh, signature call out is their name tag. So we've got missionaries. Yeah. <laughs> for those that uh, want to you know make a figure of their favorite uh, or you know of their friend or family member mm -hmm. that's going to be leaving them for a long time and they're going to miss them. They want to you know, give some sentimental value to them as they Kind of the sig fig yeah. idea. Yeah, exactly. to represent that. That's yep. neat. Yeah. Exactly. We've got tons of animals. Um, we, you know, it's another one of those things. Little girls come in and they're just like, oh my gosh, look at the cute puppies. <laughs> and the yeah. it's, it's just like, it's so joyful um, to see kids get excited about something that is going to enhance their play. You know, um, I love the use of the uh, the trans clear base plates as yes. well. The display there, kind of kind of flexing with the base plates. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, um, we we do we focus mainly on Lego. It's like ninety percent Lego brand, and then we do have a handful of um, I guess ancillary brands: mm -hmm. Brick Arms, Brick Forge, Strictly Bricks, um, Slab Dream Lab, um, vendors that provide compatible high quality um, parts or additions to the Lego environment that Lego hasn't made yet. So the colored base plates are a huge, uh, are a huge hit. Kids love just having a variety of colors so they can make a red planet, a yellow planet, or you know, water. Right, yeah, no, I mean, it's a, a lot of people loved like in the 90s with all the different base plates Lego used to make, and now it's so few and far between from yeah. official Lego, so it's great that other companies have kind of stepped up with yeah. that stuff. Yeah. Um, However, I will say that no bricks and minifigs sells knockoff Lego, like knockoff brands. Um, we, we're very committed to the Lego ecosystem. Um, so you won't find like Mega Block. In fact, we'll show you later. We, uh, we actually sort the Mega Block, the non Lego Tyco, out of our bulk, and then we donate them to teachers. So it still goes to good use. Teachers can use them in the classroom. Um, it's a you know, great way to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. um, but you won't find any like, Lepin, or especially brands that have um, stolen Lego designs and recreated them. Not here. It's there all genuine. Go. All genuine Lego. <laughs> You're putting a lot of pressure on the sorters now. The you know, if, they, if, if a piece gets through. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I, I do. I come in sometimes and I just walk through the bulk tables <laughs> and I and they'll be back there doing you know working. I'll be like. You guys, <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> this is a good time to mention the bulk then as well. So yes. how, how does this work for people who haven't seen this before? Um, these, are, these are just tables literally of all kinds of loose pieces. Um, we, when someone trades in their loose pieces, we don't generally spend the time to build anything out of it. Instead, we clean it, we wash it, 
we sort out, um, like I said, anything that we're going to donate or any trash or cat hair. Imagine that. I mean, <laughs> we we all know Legos. Uh, they they collect other things besides Lego and yes. then Hot Wheels. If you can imagine it, it's probably been in a lot of Lego <laughs> yes, at some yeah. point. Yeah, we don't we don't need to go into detail of the things <laughs> that we found in bulk Lego, but. Um, there have been some cool things, though. Some someone once found a like a full samurai sword replica that wow. was like buried in the bulk. They bought the bulk, and then when they went to sort it, there was like a samurai sword, uh, like a replica display type samurai sword um, that I guess probably the kid bought and didn't want his mom to know about and hid in his Lego. <laughs> and then when she sold it, it was like, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, cool stuff we found. Yeah, very neat. So do you find it's mostly adults who come in and kind of pick out pieces for mocks they're working on, or do a lot of kids also pick through this? We get a lot of adults, yeah. Um, a lot of adults who are working on their own creations, um, or, you know, sometimes I'll, I always ask, what are you building? And some, sometimes folks are just like, I don't know, these pieces are just so cool, I can't pass <laughs> them up. And I totally relate with that. Mm -hmm. um, when I was a kid, I gave away, when I was a teenager, I gave away all my Lego, but there was this part of me that was cringing at that moment when I was you know, taking it upstairs to donate it. And so I scooped out a, a shoebox full and, like, and I was like, and I gotta have this part because it reminds me of my favorite spaceship and I gotta have this part because that's what I built that cool car out of. And you know, it's like, I relate to like, just loving a part. It's, you know, to me, I can look at any piece and it's almost like I can feel the story, the play that's happened with this piece. I mean, this is, um, classic, well, not classic space, but it's like the trans neon right. old space from the 90s and it's like I, I had this and it was so cool and I remember the stuff I've built with it. I can just imagine what whoever has owned this in the past, all the joy and the, the storytelling stories, yeah. that have come along with this piece. I really feel like that joy and that, the, the, the I don't know, the love, the play, the joyful energy gets put into our Lego, and then that when you take it home, you get some of that, some of that positive vibes, those vibrations from other people. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, a little woo woo, but that's my <laughs> my my personal like. I feel like that's one of the benefits of of bricks and minifigs is you get to go to a place where you can not only socialize with other builders and see the joy on kids' faces as they're seeing you know so much Lego in one place for the first time, um, but you also take home something special with you, not just the brick, but the the fun that came along with the brick before yeah. you. And it's such a such a great part of like the community as well. So like a lot a lot of our viewers might be familiar with uh, Boone and Mark from season one of Lego Masters here in the US, the bearded builders. They actually first met uh, picking through the bulk brick at a bricks and minifig yeah. store. Yeah. So you know you just go in there trying to find pieces for a mock you're working on. Should we and reenact who, it? who knows who you might be? Should we reenact okay. it? Oh hey, hey, what you looking for? Uh, you know, I'm just looking for something for uh, Ewoks Adventure Land. I okay, think that's cool. a build I'll do at some point in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's this will probably work for you. Thank you. Yeah, I think that, that'll be a sweet. great piece. See? Thanks Listen, for the help. Mark and Boone here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you never know who you might meet in these stores as you're working on a build. But that's super cool. We can keep looking at more yeah. along the wall here. So you just got more of these kits that you said are kind of uh, yeah. complete that people can come in and buy? You know, it's, it's, and you get everything from new, current, like recent releases to the old stuff too. The um, bonsai tree that, gosh, this is, I, I wanted it. I couldn't get it. It was all sold out. <laughs> it's like, oh, now it's here. I can probably buy it. And, but my wife says I, I only have one spot, one area, a certain area at my house that I can display Lego in. She's like, you gotta get rid of some stuff. <laughs> right now it's got the Haunted Mansion and the Land Rover and like some of my son's creations as gotcha. well. Gotcha. I'll have to do some de-junking and maybe trade some stuff in before I can get this. Yeah, in her defense, you have this whole store as well. I know. So, you know, it kind of makes it's sense. It's true, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, the, and that's, again, like I said, like I gave away all my stuff as a teenager. When I, but there's that that really young part of me that just was mad and like sad and upset that I went through, as they call it, the dark ages mm -hmm. and gave away all my stuff. Um, and so now as an adult, this is this is a little bit like an amends from me, adult Corey, to little Corey, um, who I robbed of all of his Lego joy and stuff um, when so I was a teenager. if you're watching this, don't give away your Lego. Hold on to it, because at <laughs> some point you're going to want it again, you maybe, know? Maybe, maybe, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's, there, and that's why this store exists, is because you can, you can cycle out of it and cycle back into it yeah. for a much more reasonable price, mm -hmm. you know, than having to start over with all new inbox.
There you go. That's but, true. Then you got tons of fantastic minifigures down here as well. Minifigures, yeah. We've recently got in some of the old collectible uh, full sets, and so we've put some of these together. Um, Unicorn, one of my favorites. Of course, the hot dog guy. Can't go wrong with that. Um, but yeah, we, we put them on these stands. These are really great stands um, from crap. From the stands are from oh. these stands. <laughs> Somebody has to remember. Someone has to remember. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, these are some really cool stands that we really love. <laughs> and uh, they make great minifig stands for the series. So they each have like a, a little one by two spot with studs yeah. there just to stick the minifigs on. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. So is this all collectible minifigures here in this? Yep. This case has got a collectible series. As many as we have from all the different series. Um, we're, obviously, it's pretty difficult to get series one, two, three, four, five, six. Go early, yeah. Oh, go figure. Thank you. The go, go figure displays. So they, um, they make really good stuff. You can get them at Bricks and Minifigs or jump over to there. I think they sell them on Etsy. Gotcha. No, it looks great. It's a great way to display all of them. I'm sure these are always very popular with people as well. Absolutely. Yeah. You sell some sealed as well here? We do. Yep, we've got the blind bags. So you can guess. It's uh, Wild Coyote, Wiley Coyote. Just kidding. <laughs> no, you're, you're just that talented. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, even like old figures. Mm -hmm. Some Bionicle? Yep, some Bionicle figures. We've got uh, this one over here. It's got some... Uh, Nexo, some Chima. Anyway, these are these are just came back from our convention, so they're not in the best. Uh, they're not all standing upright, but yeah, we. Sh it's a, it, this is a good time to mention we're recording this right after Brick Slopes just happened here in Utah, so I'm sure you guys were swamped with people coming in for that. We were. That's <laughs> kind of why my voice is a little raspy. <laughs> Been at the convention for two days, and if it goes out during this recording, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. I'll just have to. I'll have to sign and have Nate talk for me or something. <laughs> I'm sure it's an awesome time for you guys too, though. Is this, is this one of the busiest times of the year for you when yeah. that show happens? Yeah, we love Brick Slope so much. It's it's mm -hmm. like. Um, it's it's like the mecca for Utah. I mean, a lot of cities have them, and we're so glad that m there are more and more Lego conventions out there. Um, this is the closest one for us, and it's just so to see all the smiles and the you know the eyes popping out of their sockets <laughs> as people see the builds, and it's just like it, you know it brings that I don't know it brings it all home. You know, it's the what Lego is all about. For sure. Yeah. Well, then we got more Let's great kids going. behind you here. Uh, any, anything stand out in particular? I love the architecture sets, so those always stand out to yeah. me. I know, I know I'm kind of in the minority with that being kind of my favorite theme, but yeah. I, I actually just built that set recently Did on a live stream. Yes. Love it. I love it. Yes, it's a fantastic looking display model. You need to get the map, and then for every architecture set, put a red dot where the set's from. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The there you go. So yeah, the world map. Create, create your architecture world map out of it. There you go. That's <laughs> a good idea. Um, can I, um, can I grab the, yes. the Utah skyline? Oh, yes, that's true, yes. So we actually have a, a custom little, so for people who are familiar with the, the skyline sets that LEGO has done, there's a custom little Utah skyline that represents, what are, what are these landmarks real quick? Okay, so these are some of the most famous Utah landmarks. You have Delicate Arch in Moab, um, the Utah State Capitol, which was modeled after the nation's capital, and then the Salt Lake Temple, which is just an architectural icon in downtown Salt Lake that everyone recognizes and... Uh, some of the uh, Delicate Arch and the Temple Grounds are probably some of the most visited places. I don't know if anyone really visits the Capitol <laughs> when they come for a visit of Utah, but but it's iconic. So hey, yeah, <laughs> and it's up on the hill. Yeah, you, can't miss it. Like, you can see it from pretty much anywhere. It's very there. visible. There yeah. you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With the nice tile. yeah, yeah. That's a, another cool thing. Bricks and minifigs. We can do custom printing. Um, so we've printed you know, the label on it. And a lot of our custom sets, which you'll see during the video, you'll see um, some of the printed work that we design into our, our builds. Mm -hmm. And then back here behind you is kind of a little bit of a behind the scenes section. What do we yeah, have going on back yeah, there? Yeah. At Bricks and Minifigs, of course, we've said you can bring stuff into trade, we'll buy it. And then this is kind of, well, we're helping customers and nobody's, you know, needing us to get anything right away. Um, our team can pull out and start sorting minifigures We get, you know, all the all the fig accessories and these end up going in the minifig table. Um, you know some minifigures that need to be priced and put out into their spot, uh, missing helmets and weapons. But yeah, this is all part of the process, and it's what it's what we love to do is kind of 
take the raw materials of Lego and make it into the creation it's supposed to be. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then people can come in and enjoy it for themselves. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, it um, sometimes it spreads far and wide beyond the table, the bounds of the table. But yeah, <laughs> yeah there, there was uh, a, a big pile of old sports sets: uh, the hockey rink, the full basketball stadium. Um, and anyway, they were all in boxes piled like against the wall, and I'm pretty pleased to see that it's all been taken care of yes. during the weekend. The team's on it. Yes. yes. Look, look yeah. at you have such good employees here. We do. I mean, we do. Nate, what a talented give it for team. Nate, right? Yes. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so yeah, we, we try to stay on top of it. It's, um, we get a lot of trades, and we try to get it out as quickly as possible so people can actually enjoy it not sit in the back room for too long. There you go. Before we move out to these display yeah. cases, we've got obviously a very iconic set here to our right. Yes, the Millennium Falcon UCS. The pre-melted uh, pre edition. Yeah, the pre-melted edition. We'll show, we'll, if you ha I don't know if we've shown it yet, but we'll sh you'll see the, the melted one. Um, anyway. How often do you have people coming in looking for the higher dollar sets like this? Is that like every day or is that a lot rarer that somebody wants oh, something in this? Yeah, it's more rare, okay. yeah, of course. Um, and and you know, there's two types of builders, right? The ones that don't want to build and the ones that do. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so you have to find the, the, the right person has to find this who wants it and doesn't have time to build it, but wants it on display. Yeah. Um, of course, we can take it apart. We can disassemble. Um, we do, we'll do anything with Lego for a small fee. <laughs> <laughs> you want us to sort your Lego, you want us to clean it, you want us to take it apart, anything, anything you want. As long as it has to do with Lego, we'll do it for you. Mm -hmm. Or you make your kids do it. Yes. Or you can make so your I kids do, do it. I, yeah. I like to build everything I get from here, and when it's pre-built, I take it home and say, okay, I don't want to look at it, I don't want to see the pieces, it's like a spoiler thing. <laughs> and I make my kids disassemble, disassemble it, and, and, or disassemble it, yeah. And then disassemble you... it, and uh, then I'll build it. Always enlist the kids to do it whenever That's possible. Right. Whenever possible. <laughs> we can move out back around here then. So it looks like is this uh, mostly Star yeah, Wars? Yeah, so we got here? we got our um, superheroes, superheroes case here. Um, again, it's this is filmed after a, a weekend with uh, where we got kind of wiped out. So there's some blank spaces, but yeah, we've got yeah. trays and trays of replacement figs and troopers and clones and you know, all that stuff to to then fill the cases back up. Yeah. Superheroes, Marvel DC, and then we do a dark side Star Wars case and a light side Star Wars case. And we've got everything here, like anything from your little five dollar, you know, troopers and whatnot. And we've got like custom, or sorry, what's it? The uh, misprint figs and custom oh, yeah. prototypes. Here's not a, sorry, not custom factory prototypes. This one, this is um, you get a, a misprint once in a while. He looks like he has a blank helmet. <laughs> But actually, it was printed on the reverse oh, side. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, little unique things like that are always in the I also noticed the, these, uh, like, monochrome Darth Vader's down there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these, are, these were uh, factory prototypes that uh, they did all in, in solid colors. That is very unique. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's very cool. Yeah, so those guys are straight from the factories. Um, we've got some professional connections. So will people come in for, for unique stuff like that? Do people come in looking specifically for that? Or is that more something, maybe somebody walks in and they didn't realize it existed before, and they're like, that's something I need to have now? Yeah, there, yeah there's a lot of that. <laughs> a little bit of both. OK. Yeah. Um, we, it's surprising. We get a lot of people from out of town, actually, that will be looking for something like really unique. And like, oh my gosh, they've got something here that we'll never see at home. Um, so we do a bit of those with that kind of stuff, um, but we also have the hardcore collectors that come in, you know, specifically after that. Yeah, no, oh, that's very cool. It's great that you can carry different, unique stuff like that. And then lots more Star Wars down here. Here's another another one of our cool custom builds. The miniature Razor Crest. Yes. Like, like micro scale. <laughs> um, this is the well. I don't know if I want to give a spoiler, but. The, the pre-exploded version. <laughs> There's been enough time. It's okay. okay good. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't seen it by now, are you really a fan? <laughs> I, like oh, the, I like the Harry Potter wands on there. The cape rack back there. Look at all of those. Yes. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that many packed in. <laughs> That's very cool. Tons 
tons more Star Wars minifigs. And then what do, as we round the corner, what do we have in this display case? This is a, another price point case. Anything in here is $20, $20 case. So a, a lot of the um, a little bit larger vehicles, maybe they come with a figure, um, you know, the fire truck and the trailer, more, you know, substantial. This are, these are for the kids that are mowing lawns, not, <laughs> not just picking dandelions. There you go. Yeah. It's, that, it's that tier of work that <laughs> yes. the kids can do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when, when, <laughs> once you've got past the, uh, the quarters, and, quarters and dimes for your chores, then you can start saving up for, you know, the, the $20 items. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. Yeah. So then that takes us to kind of this corner of the store here. And this looks like we're getting a lot more sealed stuff over here. Yes. All of this is new in box. We're uh, uh, an official Lego vendor. Um, so we get in all the new stuff as soon as we can. Um, of course, with COVID and the supply chain issues, it's, we don't always have everything on day one, but usually shortly thereafter. Um, but yeah, we like the Speed Champion, some of my favorites, and you got Harry Potter, of course, Friends. Um, you know, I have to say, when Friends came out, I was one of the skeptics. I, I, was, I was like, mm, these figures are kind of weird, and um, they're really endearing now. I like mm -hmm. them. Um, my daughter loves them, and I love that she loves them. <laughs> yeah. Know? That's really, it, it gives me a chance to connect with my daughter as much as I can with my son. Right. I think they definitely nailed that target demographic. And I mean, it's been yeah. around for, what, 10 years or something now? Mm -hmm. So it's certainly been a very long-lived yeah. theme, and I think it'll continue going yeah. for a while. Uh, yeah, I love it. Um, and, and it's not just, honestly, it's not just um, young girls that end up buying the friends. We get a lot of adult male builders who like the colors mm -hmm. and want the colors and the special parts that they have for their mocks. Because you look at these, I mean, like, look at the pieces on this helicopter yeah. and stuff. I mean, you're not getting that in a Star Wars set most exactly. of the time. <laughs> right. It makes for really interesting pieces for modifying your sets or color, you know, changing the color scheme of your Star Wars ships or, or whatever. But yeah. One of my favorite builds at the uh, Brick Slopes was one that Matt did. Um, and it was like a Ninjago City Garden sized friends like treehouse city yeah thing. no Mar yeah so mark crookshank did that build yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly that's what I say, matt. <laughs> yeah mark, no yeah, that's mark, fine oh my gosh. there's a lot of builders to keep yeah, track mark, of um, <laughs> oh it was so cool though mm -hmm. and again my daughter and i just sat and stared at it i'm like oh my gosh look at this and look how they did that. and the signs falling off and <laughs> it was awesome and it like best of friends most friends mm -hmm. stuff it won the best of friends award um there's so much you can do with friends lego yeah, exactly. Definitely Lots great. of neat stuff. Love it. Yeah, Ninjago, Creator. Yep. City. Oh, the city, the, the mainstay. You always got to have the yep. city sets. <laughs> yes. Yep. And then our Star Wars is a little thin. Like I said, it's right after the weekend. <laughs> so, but yeah. Um, and then here's the, uh, the kind of bulk, but for just for yes. minifigures. This is, this is what a lot of people come in for. Uh, to build their own minifigures. You can build yourself, your family, your significant other. Um, you can build, you know, you got the, the springy legs from the basketball sets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have a bunch of those in right now, um, which is we pretty cool. The troopers. There you Star go. Wars. There's troopers. Yeah. We got some clone helmets in this weekend. So it's so fun just to like, I, I love when, when kids bring up a minifigure to the checkout counter and I'm just like, Who's this? And they're like, oh, this is so and so. It's going to go in my this and that. And it's like, oh, you have a whole story behind it mm -hmm. already. That's awesome. Yeah. No, I'm sure you get that a lot with both like the, the sets, the minifigs, all of this stuff that yeah. people come in and have a story related to yeah. it, or maybe it was something from their childhood, whatever it might be. One of my favorite questions when guys are, or adults or whoever is looking through the bulk is, what are you building? Mm -hmm. And and they you know it's like they light up and they're like check this out they always pull up their phone and be like look I'm building the whole launch pad for the Saturn V like and it's like whoa mm -hmm. you know and then you, and then later you get to see the completed model and it's wow I can't believe like so much of that just came from here searching through parts and you know it, it's um, I also love folks um, come in and we get we get some. Folks who just like, it's the soothing sound, yes. right? They're like, this is my meditation. I left the kids at home and I'm here to find parts. <laughs> it's like the sound of water, just kind of like yeah. very calming, you yeah. know, picking through the parts. It is, yeah. <laughs> I love that, yeah. You can provide so many different services here through the store. <laughs> that's right, that's right. You know, and the great thing about Bricks and Minifigs is it's not just here in Utah. 
it's all around the country. In mm -hmm. fact, Canada as well. Yeah. Um, it's a North American wide franchise and um, opportunities available in your city if you don't already have one. Um, you can jump onto bricksandminifigs.com and they've got um, great, we have some great corporate staff and they will respond to you, answer any questions. Um, I, you know, it, it's like we need more places in the world where someone can come and enjoy Lego and go home happier than how they came in. Right, yeah, and it's so nice to have you know, a place where you can come in and physically build a minifig or go through the bulk brick or check out yeah. old sets and everything. So much of what Lego fans do is just online because they can't access that stuff. Yeah. So it's definitely providing a nice service. Yeah, Lego themselves have a stringent criteria for where they can put a Lego store. Mm -hmm. um, and even in those places, you don't get the, you know, they get the pick a brick wall with mm -hmm. limited, you know, limited selection, but awesome stuff still. This is not down talking, but it's different, right? <laughs> it's, to it's different than what you get in the bulk and the minifigure table here. Um, Bricks and minifigs will will get you set up in your in your hometown if that's what you're ready for. <laughs> there we go. Sounds yeah. good. And then we'll t to keep taking a look around here. So this is some yeah. of those custom base plates that you were talking about earlier. Yeah, this is the Slab Dream Lab <clears throat> brand. Um, I really like their stuff because it overlaps. Yeah, um, we've we've worked with Slab on different projects over the years. They do fantastic work. Yeah. They actually created a custom Beyond the Brick oh. plate for us a little yes, while back. I've seen it. It's, it's awesome. Gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So for those that aren't familiar, they. They overlap, um, and so they're very sturdy. It's a great makes a great DIY project if you get um, some wood to wood backing and then glue it on, and you get a very large solid surface that's compatible. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's some unique products uh, that people can come in and find here for yeah. sure. And then some of the classic Lego Road base yep. plates. Yes, um, <laughs> as as we get in buys, we're constantly finding some of these old, unique, classic base plates and. Um, you know, you, you just can't find these anymore. And to be able to have your hands on it and take it home and build right away, that's mm -hmm. like part of the excitement of Lego is like, I've got it, I don't have yes. to wait for it, <laughs> exactly. I can build it. You don't have to wait for a Bricklink order to arrive right. or something. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Strictly Bricks, another good one. Um, bright colors, kids and moms love these. Um, the, the, the bright colors and the different sizes, so. You even got some Duplo. Duplo, yeah, the Duplo size ones, yeah. Duplo kits and bulk Duplo and right bulk here. Duplo. I mean, anything you could want from. The <laughs> that's right. Bionicle. Yeah, then, bulk Bionicle. That's not something you see very often either. Right. Um, my seven-year-old, or sorry, my eight-year-old daughter, came across Bionicle, and she's now it's now like her favorite thing. <laughs> I was talking about Friends a minute ago, but I think Bionicle is currently above Friends for her. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. There's still new people getting into it. Yeah. Oh, look. There's even some Quattro. Ooh, yeah. Quattro bricks. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't seen those in a while. Duplo, little pro tip, great for building up, you know, if you've got large landscapes, mountains, that sort of thing, put that, put that underneath the build, save yourself a lot of the brick building. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people might not know, but the, the Lego brick, full-size bricks are compatible with the Duplo. If I can get it on the, on the right. <laughs> so you can convert from, you build up the structure, mm -hmm. the base, with Duplo and then convert to the standard Lego for the rest of your build, Help, like you're helps saying. Helps keep the weight down. Too. Helps keeps the weight down, yeah. Yeah, there you go. A little, little pro building tip there as there well. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so as we round the corner here, what do we have? It looks like some of this is more like tubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, more of like the, the price point. We call them bagged use sets because they're use sets and they're in a bag. It's very, you know, descriptive <laughs> and creative. Self-explanatory. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, there's, we, like I said, we get so much trade in, it's hard to put it all out on the shelf with limited shelf space. So the bagged use sets are a great way to get partials or mostly completes of a variety of smaller, like fun little play sets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, special parts as well. So this is our like premium pick a brick, if you would call it that. Um, a lot of the the high value or the rare uh, individual unique parts that come in on bulk trades end up here for those that are looking specifically for, you know, burps and lerps and castle walls and uh, all those things. Treasure chests down Treasure here. Treasure chests, yeah. You know, structural pieces. Mm -hmm. It's like the old uh, palisade bricks. Love it. Yeah, that's right up your alley, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, you got to have that for your western forts, you know? That's right. No, there's some more treasure chests, and you got big treasure chests. Yeah. The wings down there. The wings. 
Yeah. Some of them we package up and do uh, clam packs of uh, spider webs and leaves and tires and all kinds of stuff. It's, of course, I mentioned earlier um, some of our other vendor, the other vendors, Brick Arms, Brick Forge, um, and then the the Lego masks. So yes. If you're if you're if you're masking, stop by, swing by, and we'll hook you up with the with the fun Lego mask. Yeah, I mean, that, obviously Lego makes an incredible variety of pieces, but there's some things they won't touch. So like Brick Forge and what Brick Arms does is always amazing and very, yeah. very popular products, especially I think with kids. I'm yeah. sure come in and love that. Yeah, they really enhance a mock, especially if you're doing like um, historical warfare type stuff or even just historical anything really. Yeah. No. So now, we've, before we go into this special room over here, there's one little corner of the shop we have oh, left yes. here. What, what, what happens over here? Um, over here is where you exchange your thanks in the form of dollars, and we send <laughs> yes. you home with joy in the form of Lego. <laughs> very important part of the process. Yes, a very important part. Um, however, you got to come check this out, because this is one of our best talking points. Um, this is uh, 1987, I can't remember the year, on the pirate ship. The, the kid built it, obviously, like in the 90s. And then when he moved out, his parents put it in the attic. And then 20 years later, when they're like, hey, come get all your stuff out of our house, <laughs> he, he found it in this condition, looking as if it had been raised from the depths of the yes. ocean. It is so cool. One of our favorite, like, just talking points. That is crazy. So did he bring it into you guys like that? And he was did. like, hey, do you want to buy this? He puppy? did. <laughs> <laughs> he did, yeah. He brought in a collection of things that he didn't want that he was done with, and this was among it. And, and we were just like, that is too cool. <laughs> so we put it in a case, and it's like just one of those things you have to see to believe. This was resurrected from the ocean floor right here. <laughs> it does. It looks like that. <laughs> that is very cool. Yeah. We do um, custom uh, custom items. So here we've custom, we built one of the giant minifigures here and then custom printed on it. Any bricks and minifigs um, near you or call us if you don't have one near you can hook you up with custom printing we've done them for companies we've done them for um, we created a custom Lego version of a band someone's favorite band complete with a Lego like a professional box as if it was a Lego kit and awesome. everything um, we've done them for we've done like little Lego puzzles for the bank here locally we've even done big sculptures we've collaborated with um, Jen Smart um, who's on Lego Master season two mm -hmm. um, for a big, uh, it, was, it was actually really tricky. We went to a business's conference and they had us build a six foot sculpture in a three day time frame at the conference. And uh, as guests came through the, um, the vendor area, they would see it slowly rising and getting bigger and bigger until the unveiling on the final night. Really cool. Here you go, you've got the sawing Here poster right there. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah, friend, good friends of ours. Yes, the, the local Lego masters, the you local might say. Ones. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, this is kind of a cool thing you might want to... Uh, we thank Jen for this. Um, we loaned her some sets to take to the filming uh, for her to practice between shoots. Um, and she got Mr. Will Arnett's signature on... Lego Batman himself. The UCS Batmobile, <laughs> yes. That is awesome. So cool. I love... Yes, you got some nice, unique display pieces back there. Very cool. Okay, now we're the, this is where the fun begins. Well, not that any of this was coming <laughs> So brick parties, right? Yes. N any age. You don't have to be under 10 to have your brick party at <laughs> Bricks and Minifigs. <laughs> we've had adult parties. We've had just friends gatherings. We've had company gatherings, company parties. Um, any Bricks and Minifigs that has a party room will most likely have a derby track or some other kind of fun activity. Kids get to build, race, play. It's just the the whole place lights up with the sound of playing kids and like the woohoo and all the screams of joy. Mm -hmm. It's so great. And you've got more bulk brick in here, so they yeah, can kind is, of build and play around with this. Yep. This is these are this are uh, our car parts table. So we've got um, the Derby Magic wheels and then a you know a variety of of plates so they can get started with. And they build their car and they. They enhance it, and they want to beat Johnny, and they race him, and they, it's just, yeah, it's a riot. It's so much fun. Yeah, that's very, so how, how many people can this uh, room hold, typically? Oh, this room, um, we can, pre-pandemic, we could accommodate parties of up to, like, 20 kids with 
you know, parents and mm -hmm. chaperones and stuff. We always have a staff member who will host the party, um, and then the kids bring the cars up. We set them up on the track, and um, and then when it's ready, set and go. They they race and see who finished first. Yes, that's it's great. So much fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, anybody can. Would, how, how do you do? You have to like reserve this room. How does that work if people are interested? Yeah. So for if you're in Salt Lake area or wherever you're at, go to the the website of your bricks and minifigs. Um, you can find any bricks and minifigs at bricksandminifigs.com. And then there's a store locator. Um, for us, ours is bricksandminifigsslc.com. That's where you can go. Um, look on the top nav. There's birthday parties. Select which store. Book your time. And then we have um, just some really wonderful hosts that will take care of the whole thing for you. You go home to a clean floor, no Lego on your floor. Let yes. us take care of it. Yeah, right? leave it all here at the Bricks and Minifigs That's right. store. That's right. Um, but all the kids get to build a minifigure to take home with them. Mm -hmm. um, birthday kid will get two. It's like a built-in party favor. And then, of course, if they, it, you, can, you can do other party favors. And we have packages available and things like that. Extra minifigures or if you want tubs of bulk or little mini sets or whatever. Yeah, that's awesome. It's so fun. Yeah. <laughs> so you mentioned the website there. For people who maybe can't make it physically to a Bricks and Minifigs store, uh, what, what all do you sell online? How does that, is, is your whole collection available online or just a percentage of it? How does that work? So most of our stuff is online. We do our very best once we buy a set to get it complete, take pictures, um, and list it on our website. Our website is bricksandminifigsslc.com. Um, several of the other stores also have their own uh, websites and usually it's bricks and minifigs portland.com or bricks and whatever minifigs, the location yeah, might be yeah, yeah. Um, so just google it and um, you'll come up with the website of whichever stores have one not all bricks and minifigs have an online presence but a lot do now we're going to take a look at some of the custom kits available at bricks and minifigs so i've got one of the model designers here if you want to introduce yourself and then we'll take a look at some of these kits Hey guys, I'm Adam. Um, thank you for coming and visiting us today. We're really happy to have you here. Um, so as you can see here, we've got quite a few kits. Uh, this is the Obsidian Guardian. This is the custom set for 2021 brick slopes that we've designed. Um, next to it, we have a couple of our make and takes. So this is part of our Utah Bricks Club. And these guys um, are free for our club members each month. So we've got, of course, you know, I have to do an Easter Bunny every year for for um, April. I've got the Rainbow Crawler for March. Uh, race Plane is actually from 2020, I believe. No, 2019 on that one. Um, this year that we had the funnest one, this seems to be a fan favorite, a Venus minifigure trap, which is uh, super fun. That one was a challenge to get a mechanism that would be simple. Uh, you know, because I could come up with some really complicated ideas, but to keep it simple so that I could turn it into a kit was awfully fun. Cupid's Aeroplane was a suggestion from the boss. They got together and put together uh, some ideas for me, and they, Cupid's Aeroplane, so you can fire hearts with it. It actually comes with a gun for your minifigure. Um, next to it is the D&D Scorpion, so I have a thing with bugs. I love bugs. I like to make lots of bugs, and so um, this one was just a labor of love and at the next to it was the make and take that I did the same at the same time for our uh, kids in our club and then we have some jets that we made for Memorial Day um, two years ago and yeah they just they have been they're just good little yeah. builds the you even got a like a custom piece in the middle there is that printed or a sticker yeah so all of our custom sets have a custom piece that we have printed for us um, some, you know, the, to go with the theme and also to, you know, let everybody know how awesome Bricks and Minifigs is. Yeah. People love printed pieces, so that's a great idea. <laughs> and then we have, uh, two years ago, we had the Imperial uh, Trooper Maxi Fig that we did uh, because uh, Brick Slopes was May the 4th themed. So that was a lot of fun to put together. Um, thank you to my boss here, the great graphic designer who put together all the graphics for the Stormtrooper. And then behind it, we have the Cocoa Hut. This was the first custom set I designed for Brick Slopes here. And yeah, just we, lo and we know the, how much everybody here in Utah loves Cocoa. So <laughs> we figured why not go for... You gotta pander to the local audience a little yes, bit. we do. <laughs> and then of course we have our first custom set that was designed, um, I'm not sure of the designer's name, Marlin, who design, designed it originally, so that's our Utah skyline. And of course, you can't have a, a Utah skyline without an arch. That's, you know, the most important part of it. 
You see it on the license plates. It seems like it's a pretty big deal here. Oh, it's a huge deal. <laughs> if you've never been down to Arches, it's definitely worth a trip. Yes. <laughs> Very cool. So you've got some, some really impressive kits here. Now, you mentioned the club a couple times. Talk a little bit more about kind of how that works, that people are interested in picking up some of these kits. Yeah, so our club um, is just a monthly fee, and uh, so it comes with the make and take, a tub of bulk, and a minifigure from our Build-A-Fig table. So those, um, you, uh, those are all included with your membership each month and yeah you can buy it for you can do the membership for a year or you can do it monthly if you'd like mm -hmm. and how do you decide i know you mentioned that you're really into things like the scorpion here how do you decide on some of these other kits and kind of what you're going to be releasing each year um so we tend to we, the managers get together and we put together a list of make and takes that we would like to see for the year or if we have a theme like this year's theme um, everything has to have include you can put a minifigure in it Last year, um, I did these really cutesy little stuffed animal looking things that I called Snoogles. And um, people kind of got a little bored with it. But it was, you know, I had a little bear, teddy bear, and a little bunny rabbit. And you can see Brickleby right here. He was, he was one of those guys from last summer. And so it just, sometimes inspiration just takes me. And like the dragon, uh, I had just gotten into, into Ninjago sets. And I had to build one of my own. Yeah, that's a great kit. Let's take a closer look at that one, if you can. Take us through maybe some parts you used in here and how this came together. Uh, yeah, so um, I was originally designing a dragon for Brick Slopes last year, and he was entirely, he's bla uh, totally black and gold. Um, and we thought about doing one of these for our club, and then COVID happened, and so I had to hold on to the parts, and it was perfect for this year. Um, I'm a big believer in gold. Everybody knows about my gold pile downstairs. It's, it's pretty intense, and I was just, yeah, just the t extra time get let me to redo the head on him so I could give him a little bit more detail for his some using a lot of the uh, tooth and barbs on it. And yeah, I was just really happy with this one. Lots of gold. <laughs> No, that's great because it, it, it look, goes very well with the, the black parts as well. What kind of articulation did you get in there? It looks like there's quite a bit of movement. Yeah, so um, usually the, the normal um, Ninjago articulation is going to be the feet and the, um, I guess you would call it the uh, arm joint or the hip joint right up at the top. And then, of course, the double neck on that and then a good tail. Yeah. Those are the, the, main, the main features you've got to have for playability on on a dragon. You have to be able to pose it in cool ways. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. That's the, my big dragon downstairs. His tail's too heavy and it just flops down. So. <laughs> so now this kid and some of the other ones that we've seen here, are these available online or do you have to come into the store to pick these up? How does that work? No, nope, they're all available online. So okay. yeah. That's great. So yeah, where, where should people go to check these out if they want to pick up some of these? So that would be Bricks and Minifigs, SLC.com. Now we're downstairs in the basement of the Bricks and Minifigs store here. So this is where a lot of the magic happens behind the scenes. What do we have going on here? All right. So um, I wash, we wash all of our Lego that we purchased from customers. And so here you can see I've got them. They're all washed now and they're up here to dry. Um, laundry, uh, the uh, lingerie bags are awesome for that process. And then, of course, you see I have to clean all of my tubs and keep everything nice and clean because, the, of course, the goal here is to sell the cleanest Lego that we possibly can to our customers. Um, and then through this doorway here is where I have my new, our new sets. And then so we have our area where we photograph minifigures and sets that we purchase, our pre-owned sets. And then, of course, all the different supplies that I need for making um, clam packs and bagging stuff up. And then through, I guess you could see along the back wall, there's new sets there. Lots of Lego for me to sort. And then in here is my primary workspace. So this is where we pr have all of our sets that are ready to go upstairs here. And then as stuff comes in, we put them here on our certified or to be processed area. As you can see, we just had our uh, convention here. And so we've got minifigs that are, need to be pulled off their trays and taken care of. And then, yeah, I have lots of sets that, again, We've ordered parts for these guys. We're just waiting for them to come in so that we can get those sold. And then I have all of my minifigures here on the back wall, um, custom minifigure parts, so heads, hair, hats, all that fun stuff, accessories, and then tubs of just waiting to be sorted or just sorted. Um, right here is my, this has been my obsession for the last three months. This is every Chima minifigure. 
Wow. The entire Legends of <laughs> mini collection. Uh, we got the last minifigure, Cybrus, in from Australia this week. So I'm really, really happy to have that. We're going to have that available um, online, I believe, tomorrow. So that's pretty, yeah, Cyber Fun Day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Super awesome stuff. <laughs> so so the, the goal with kind of all of these totes of pieces, minifig parts and everything is to get stuff put together to then take it upstairs and have it available for sale? Definitely, yes. So that's where these trays are. These were the minifigs that wouldn't fit that, for sale yesterday. And I've been just building Ninjago. We've got Disney minifigures. I've got my leftover Chima from it. So that's been incredibly fun to do. <laughs> Now, you've got a massive collection of parts and minifigs down here. So where does a lot of that stuff come in from? So that most of, these, most of the stuff down here actually comes in from uh, bulk buys from customers. So we buy all of our bulk, you know, uh, wash it, sort it, and then I collect small pieces that are hard to find for customers. And so they can ask if they need, you know, quantity because it's not always easy to find a black one by one round tile. All the gold pile, the gold pile, yeah. So over here in the corner is my gold pile. Oh, boy, this is the real stash right here. Yeah, this is the real stash. So you can see I have all the super fun gold over here. And you can see the the body of my dragon back (laughs) up there in the corner. (laughs) He didn't didn't survive, the poor little guy. I finally had to leave a note on the on our sorting table to have the guys stop pulling out gold. Adam's got enough gold. Stop pulling out gold. <laughs> They're just enabling you at this point. Yes. Yeah. They all enable me there. I mean, there's cups of gold everywhere. I'm trying to think of where I put my gold cases. I actually have another case full of gold. Oh, oh there it is. Yeah. Right behind hidden. So that the boss man can't see it. Oop. Yeah. So this is my, my box of gold. So, <laughs> This is the real valuable yeah, collection. This, well, this is this is just the easy to find part. So if you're looking for, you know, some claws and that, or you know, the shinies, this this is very special stuff right here. <laughs> why why invest in gold or Lego if you can invest in both, right? <laughs> and then of course pearl dark gray um, becoming a lot more common now. I'm very happy about that. And then the eggs. Yeah, you can't. You can't live life without some eggs. They belong in the gold pile. You got to have those for your alien space builds. Yes, you definitely do have to have those for the alien space builds. But you've got totes of all sorts of stuff here. There's even a bunch of Duplo up here. So, I mean, some of everything. Yeah, so we've got everything in here. Uh, Tires, you can see. Tires is a a slight obsession, but because I, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So we uh, we want to have a, a tire cell, and I need you know, I need tires, <laughs> and I need an I need a Lego. I need someone who can do Lego animate a stop motion animation to make me a commercial, so that the you know you can take one of those little tiny cars and put great big huge tires on it. Yes. You know, if you if your job if your jalopy's floppy, you know, come on come on down, <laughs> we'll get you <laughs> taken care of. Uh, yeah. <laughs> do, the thing, do the thing. You're like you're gonna be like buy three get one free and you had a whole you had a whole slew of like slogans i feel like you've put too much thought into this maybe i i probably have yeah (laughs) but you know so that easy to find customer you know for if customers request a certain type of rim or tire or if they need the little um trying to think of what those little hubcaps Mm -hmm. that they have for them um You've got even unique stuff. Like, what? what is this right here? It looks like an yeah. old old treasure chest set. Yeah, so that's a set being certified right now. It's missing a few parts that we're just trying to locate. And once we've got it all set together, then we'll got all the pieces. We'll go ahead and put that up, and you can find that one online, too. And yeah. and then, of course, we have my, my lovely sand green box that's hidden very, very <laughs> specially down here. We have my box of flames. Ooh, I like this one. Too, yeah, you can never have too many flames. Yeah, we're 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 hitting in kind of the special parts, hoses. I've got you know the special cl- trans type of stuff here, windscreens that are special. Um, oh hey, the box of really weird Jack Stone looking little guys and these weird hockey dudes from McDonald's. This is quality right here. It's quality stuff. Yes, <laughs> the the four totes of brick separators. <laughs> four totes of brick separators, definitely. We so, have some two or some flex tubing. Yeah, so we have uh, all kinds of flex tubing. We've got the rigid stuff. We've got the flexible. Uh, 
everyone's favorite 80s tubes. I love those guys. Um, lots of rubber bands. Oh, sorry. I had a customer that needed some new rubber bands for a set that he picked up from us yesterday. So I had to dump them out so I could find the right size for him. But yeah, string um, engine. I love the little engine pieces, the, these little guys. Mm -hmm. So we've got those and the, the housing for them for the engine block, which is always fun. We've got shocks. Um, train parts so i've got all kinds of train parts train wheels with train holders so if you you know you're getting ready for that christmas train set i've got track i've got everything you need i got my box of food i got lights i got my cannonballs dart shooters stairs um animals 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 um oh and my my special my my jewel box my Ooh, the gem collection yeah, here so those are the gem collection so is yeah. your goal, I mean, you can see just the incredible variety of everything you have on display. Is your goal to have pretty much anything someone could come in and want uh, on hand at all times? Yes, that is actually the idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so we're, and with the help of my uh, co-manager, uh, we are working on making sure that we've got displays so the customers know we have all this mm -hmm. stuff. Sometimes it's hard, customers don't know that you can ask for specific color jewels or because it's impossible to put everything upstairs. Yeah, all yeah. the time. This is great to see behind the scenes. So, so if you want it, come into Bricks and Minifigs. They've probably got it. Yeah, <laughs> we do a pre we do a pretty good job, unless it's some of the older parts we have a hard time finding. Yeah. I had a customer asking for a large gearbox, and the top on it was trans clear, and it's almost always light bluish gray. So I'm, it was only in three sets, and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't have that for you. <laughs> There's always going to be those hard to get things as well. Mm -hmm. And of course, plants, trees. I love. My plants, and then I've got my vehicle totes over here. As you can see, we like to collect um, the boats. Um, motor, I've got lots and lots of motorcycles, and I don't know what to do with the Ninjago spinners. That's becoming, <laughs> that's getting out of control. And the Chima, the little Chima vehicles. Somebody will find a use for them. I'm sure they will. I, I have a few kids that come in and ask for them every now and then, but not, you know. Yeah, <laughs> not enough to justify that. Right. <laughs> Some more totes of miscellaneous stuff here. Yeah, so this is a Duplo that came in on a buy. It's just waiting to be washed and sorted because I can see even from here that there's not act that some of this isn't actually Duplo. So we've got to, of course, sort even the Duplo, the non-Lego from the Duplo because non-Lego is horrible. And that's what these tubs over here are. These are non-Lego. So we do we do save the non Lego and then we donate it to local teachers. Oh, great! So yeah, we don't like wasting that if we, you know, don't even ha if we don't have to. Mm -hmm. and then these middle racks here, you've even got some like Looney Tunes figs. Yeah. So I was just getting those out of the way today, but these are sets that have come on on buys. Um, there's too much coming in for us to process at one time, and like this Saturday, you know, we had everybody at the convention. We had just a few people here, and there was. A ton of buys that came in so we bring that stuff down here to be processed so it needs to be cleaned and we check it for completeness and then we'll price it and get it upstairs for a sale what is the percentage of just like bulk random brick lots versus the actual people coming in with sets that are pretty much completely full um i had one bulk buy this weekend and i had seven sets okay. yeah so um actually there are more people sell us minifigures so that we have kids that come in and sell us, you know, half a dozen or a dozen minifigures so they can buy some more from us. So yeah. that's, that's actually a lot of fun to you kind of get to cycle through a little bit then, yeah, get new well, stuff. This weekend, they spent all their money up at the convention. So they came <laughs> down and sold their minifigs to us so that they could go and spend more money at the convention. So that was the... <laughs> it's like that economic circle yeah. <laughs> going on. The, the almost perfect e economic triangle there, Yes. <laughs> Yeah, this is great, though. It's amazing to see all of this collection down here and how much you guys have on hand. Like you said, you can only show, you know, a portion of it upstairs, so the, the part that the public actually gets to see. Yeah, definitely. I, I wish, well, no, I, I I like having my space down here. So. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want people coming down here and bothering you. Down here, yeah. It's not, as you can tell, it's not usually nice and quiet. So this is a Millennium Falcon, believe it or not. Um, we did a collaboration with the King of Random where uh, – We've been we've been talking about how to how to destroy a Lego set in a cool way, right? First, we talked about a big commercial oven, and we were gonna melt it in there, um, and we settled on melting a Millennium Falcon in acetone. 
So we, we donated a Millennium Falcon. They did a time lapse over a whole day, and they set the Millennium Falcon in a fish tank full of acetone. And what was left was a puddle of Millennium Falcon at the bottom of the... <laughs> you need a trigger warning for Star Wars fans. Yes. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Caution. Explicit content ahead. No. <laughs> <laughs> this hunk of junk is yeah <laughs> there's a couple recognizable parts left <laughs> there are, yeah there are i mean it's interesting because you can see that like there's certain types of the plastic that are apparently more resistant to acetone um some of the structural elements and the um uh, and the clear stuff like the archways they use a different type of plastic and i've heard other um lego masks Lego Master contestants, former contestants, um, talk about why they use certain types of plastic in certain uh, applications because of the strength. Yeah. So it's little little tidbits that you find out when you melt a Millennium Falcon in, in a tank of acetone. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a set like af like this after that. So you know, it's definitely interesting to see. I wouldn't want this to happen too often, though. No, right. <laughs> yeah, don't try this at home, right? Yes. <laughs> I love this little bar just sticking out there. Yeah, yeah, and this was this was signed by the King of Random himself back in 2018, I think. Yeah. There you go. It's amazing what you can do with Lego, even melting it down. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. So another cool thing that we do is support educators and teachers. Education. Um, it's a big part of Lego, not just play, but learning. For sure. So we've created um, courses online learning courses for science, technology, engineering, art, and math, all the STEAM principles, mm -hmm. um, developed in conjunction with local Utah board certified educators and presented by Jen Smart, none other than Jen Smart, <laughs> right? Who you might recognize from uh, Lego Master Season 2 here in the US. That's right. She, before she was famous, <laughs> she was famous in other ways with her Lego art. Um, she art is like her passion and she expresses that with art if you haven't seen some of her mosaics you need to go look up her social media and check those out she's done oh man I don't even want to get in there like lenticulars where from one side it's Captain America and the other side it's Tony Stark mm -hmm. um, amazing so this is her talent and she presents these lessons um, you can subscribe online at bricksandminifigsslc.com and we have the education section. You subscribe monthly and you get access to all the lessons. And then as you go along, you can purchase the kit that goes along with each lesson. So science, you're gonna learn about ecosystems, um, global warming, earthquakes, oh, sailing across the ocean blue. Um, here's the, the earthquake and the volcanoes. Um, in tech, uh, let's see, in engineering, Oh, here, here's engineering. Here's some cool um, engineering pieces. So you got the Tensegrity model. Yes, everyone loves the Tensegrity yes, builds. Which, you know, <laughs> held up by the forces of ten tension and integrity. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and then you got, uh, like, the, the, oh my gosh, the global... <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the spinning globe with the moon. Um, this, I think this one goes with math. And then you've got over here art. You've got pattern, yeah. color. You've got story. Like what's the story behind the tire swing on the tree? You know, who plays in the swing? Um, color combinations, mosaics. Anything that has to do with STEAM, you can learn it with Lego. And we get you started with these STEAM courses. That's great. So is, is the people who sign up for this, do they just use their own bricks at home then to kind of make the creations based on the lessons? So you can do that, or you can actually purchase the kit. Okay. And so the kit, each, each course has a kit that you can purchase uh, like around $30 or so. Um, it will ship it out to you if you're not local. Um, and then it comes with all the parts needed to make these builds. And then there are other parts of the lessons where she challenges you to build something out of your own Lego. <laughs> and so it's like, you know, learn the principle by building the thing that came in the kit and then expand on it. And the goal is at the end of, by the end of each lesson or the end of each course, you've got part of a world where you've incorporated art, science, technology, engineering into your build. And then by the time you finish all, all five courses, you've got a whole world that you can be proud of saying, look, this is the, the principle of using a screw 
um, to raise something up from a lower spot. This is a principle of a wedge to divide the water as the boat goes through. You know, all the different things. And you can really impress your parents by showing how much you learn <laughs> while you play. That's right. So learn from a, a genuine Lego master and check this out online and you can go sign up right now. Thank you so much for showing us around the store today. It's been really awesome just to check out fun. all of the sets and pieces, the party store, the secret basement, you know, the behind the scenes, yes. uh, everything that you guys have going on here. It's super impressive. So for people who want to learn more or see what you guys have to offer online, where can they check that out? Um, bricksandminifigs.com and there's a store locator so you can find the store nearest you. If you're in the Salt Lake, Utah area, we have three stores here, Orem, Salt Lake, South Jordan. Um, and they're all, we're all around the country um, and Canada. There you go, perfect. So, we'll make sure to put a link to the website uh, in the description of this video so you can just click on that and find all the info online. But ideally you can make it here in person. So if you're ever in uh, the Salt Lake City area or any area with a bricks and minifigs store, definitely make sure to stop in, check out everything they have to offer in person, unique displays, sets you can buy, pieces, all of that. If there's not one in your area, you can open one. That's it's a franchise, right. guys. <laughs> Who doesn't want a Lego That's store? Right. That's right. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you so much for showing us around. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you. It's been fun.